thank you for the invitation. Hamid Salim Al Amri, the CEO of Karakal International. Karakal International is the company in charge of designing and manufacturing of the small arms under edge group. The small arms we mean by that pistols, uh, submachine guns, assault rifles, and snipers. And you know, as a, as a, as an Emirati company, we are always uh, excited to show our latest uh, products. Uh, for example, in this show, we are very happy to introduce the multi-caliber sniper uh, with three caliber, 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, and 338. And uh, as we saw in the last couple of days, it was uh, one of the best introduction for us in this uh, show. Karakal International uh, products uh, provide an option for the markets in the Middle East, Asia, and Africa. So we can have that support from our geographic location uh, with uh, a unique products for the customers in this area. I would like to add one thing. Uh, before two months, uh, we added Caracal light ammunition to our portfolio of companies, and now we have the compatibility between the rifles and the ammunition. And I believe it uh, makes sense because we can see at this show, it's the same customer base and it shares a lot uh, and it's in the same uh, domain of uh, the rifles and the, the uh, ammunition, yes. Uh, I will talk now about the SkyNight uh, missile system. A SkyNight missile system, it's a short-range air defense missile. Uh, the missile launcher unit contains of 64 of SkyNight missile and it can launch and track 20 missiles at the same time with the assistance of the ground radar. The target ranges from big targets such as fighter jets, helicopters, cruise missiles to small targets, uh, RAM and uh, drones. Uh, we have two versions of uh, Skynight uh, missile. One will be on uh, land-based. The first version is land-based and the second version is uh, naval-based. Uh, where it will be uh, integrated and uh, installed on uh, vessels. So the interception range of the missile is up to 10 kilometers. So currently we are on the uh, program, the flight test phase. We launched uh, the missile vertically uh, as a cold launch, then a tip over and the rocket motor initiated. And it has a mid-course guidance where it has an autopilot uh, to tell the missile where to fly to a program track. I'm Paul Clayton from Milrem Robotics in Estonia. We're showing today Havoc Robotic Combat Vehicle, which is our newest vehicle in the fleet of autonomous uh, vehicles we have, of unmanned ground vehicles from Milrem. Havoc Robotic Combat Vehicle is the newest vehicle within our fleet. Uh, it has a hybrid electric engine, which allows it to be able to move silently when needed for long periods of time. It gives us a range of 600 kilometers, which allows us to project force um, with manned vehicles over a long distance using our autonomous uh, and remote controlled functionality. Milrem itself produces the plat platforms, but we work with a number of different partners to be able to produce payloads which allow a number of capabilities from ISR to direct fire to engineering capabilities, which allows our customers to have a huge amount of flexibility and agility in the way that they use their autonomous fleet. We're producing the vehicles uh, in Estonia. This vehicle is currently a prototype as we start moving through and developing for the customers to have the vehicle in about 2028. This is an ongoing process with Havoc, our 8x8 vehicle, but also Vector, which is our tracked version of a similar size and scale. IDEX has been a really good opportunity for us to be able to expose uh, Havoc to the public for the first time. We've seen a massive amount of interest from customers um, uh, from all over the world, which has given us great encouragement that this type of vehicle is what's needed there to be able to partner with manned vehicles uh, on future battlefields. Uh, 
Uh, my name is Latifa Dahri. I'm the communication manager at Nimr Automotive, part of Edge Group. At IDEX this year, we have uh, unveiled three vehicles, armored vehicles. Uh, the main one is Ajban 452, which takes accommodates up to 11 personnel. This vehicle can be personnel carrier, can be um, internal security vehicle, observation vehicle, and uh, can be even an ambulance. The gross weight of the 452A is about 16 ton. The speed is 110 uh, kilometer per hour and it can take up to 11 personnel. The other vehicle that we had unveiled this year is the 432 AU vehicle, which is a logistics and utility vehicle. Can be a motor carrier and can be for any purpose of uh, logistics uh, as required. Our second generation vehicles are blast and ballistic protected. They are built on a monocoque hull with a V-shape. The main feature of it as well is that you can extract the power unit in about 20 minutes. The key specifications of Ajman 432AU is that it's a 4x4 vehicle. The speed of it is 110 uh, per hour, kilometer per hour. The weight is 14.5 tons and the engine power is 360 horsepower. All of our vehicles are made in the UAE and we have produced more than 3,000 vehicles which are in service.